As someone who has been diagnosed with a severe mental illness, or SMI, you are entitled to an annual physical health check. Statistics show that someone who lives with a severe mental illness is more likely to develop avoidable physical health issues than those without one. Therefore, it is so important to make sure you have these physical health checks each year. By having a physical health check yearly, your GP can work with you to identify any health concerns you may have and talk about areas you would like to work on around your physical health. For example, you may feel you would like some help keeping active or stopping smoking. Your GP can monitor health risks such as diabetes, stroke or heart problems and help you take control of your physical health. The annual physical health check is usually carried out by your GP practice and is separate to your mental health review and your medication review. There are six elements to the annual physical health check. They are blood pressure, height and weight, blood glucose levels, blood lipids to measure the level of cholesterol in your blood, smoking and alcohol. Blood pressure is checked to help identify if you are at risk of heart disease or stroke. Keep in mind that it doesn't necessarily indicate that a person will or won't have heart disease, but it does help in the management of your care. Height and weight are measured to assess whether you are a healthy weight in relation to your height. If you are assessed to be over or underweight, your GP or nurse will discuss with you plans to help you manage your weight. Blood tests are carried out to determine if you are at risk from diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. You will be asked about smoking and alcohol consumption so that advice can be given where appropriate. You should automatically be invited for a physical health check once a year. If you haven't received an invitation, contact your practice and request one. Depending on how your local service is set up, it may be that you see a practice nurse or healthcare assistant for some elements of the physical health check and a GP for other elements, and you might be asked to go for your blood tests before the other parts of your health check are carried out. But if you feel anxious about attending your annual physical health check on your own, you can ask a friend or your carer to come with you for support. Once your physical health check is complete, you will only be contacted by your GP if there are areas of concern. However, you can request your results if you wish. If there are areas of concern or areas where you would like follow-up support, your GP will discuss them with you and possibly refer you to other services. If you have any concerns prior to your appointment, speak to your GP practice or arrange with them to have a family member, carer or friend speak to them on your behalf. If you find it difficult to leave your home due to your mental or physical health, speak to your GP practice about the possibilities of arranging a home visit. This should be something that they can accommodate. Let's now hear from Dr. Sohrab Pandey, who can answer some of the questions you might have regarding your annual physical health check. Hi, I'd just like to know why I've been asked to come for a health check. Yes, that's a good question. Uh, as you know, you became unwell in the last year with a mental illness and are taking some medication to help you. There is a risk that people with a serious mental illness can later develop physical illnesses. Um, and the purpose of the uh, annual physical health check is to keep you physically healthy in the years ahead. Can you tell me if this is instead of any other health checks I normally get? This is not instead of any other of the health checks that you might have. Uh, this is uh, in addition to, uh, and this health check is specifically for people who have uh, had a serious mental illness and uh, so if you are having other health checks, for example, you have an annual health check for your asthma or your diabetes, then you would need to attend those um, in the normal way still. Can you tell me please, what are the medical health issues that people with severe mental illness are prone to? The main avoidable conditions that uh, could develop include obesity, diabetes, and subsequently stroke and heart disease 
and in addition there is a risk of chronic lung disease in smokers or liver disease in those who have excessive levels of alcohol. I'd like to know why people with mental illness have this increased risk. Well the first thing to say is that it is not the person's fault. Uh, we all understand how mental illness can make it harder uh, to live a, a healthy lifestyle. Uh, however, all aspects of healthier living, such as diet and exercise, are really important for both your mental and your physical health. In some cases, the medication, whilst being a great help for the mental health, can sometimes have an impact on appetite or weight, and it is important for the doctor and the patient to discuss how best to manage this. And how long will the health check take? Well, usually it takes about 40 minutes if you have 20 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes with the GP chatting about all the medication and other concerns you might have and then a similar length of time with your healthcare assistant or the nurse to do the blood pressure weight and blood tests. I'd like to know what are the benefits to me having this health check? Well it's a great opportunity for you to discuss your physical health, your mental health, uh, your lifestyle and your medication. And overall, the aim is to reduce risk factors for future physical disease, particularly cardiovascular disease. We look at several areas, including weight, blood pressure, smoking and alcohol consumption, and the blood tests are for sugar and cholesterol. I don't want to bother my doctor. I think my health is fine. Well, please do not feel that you're in any way a bother to the GP or the nurses. Um, we at the practice view this is a very important part of our work in caring for you to be as healthy as possible. And what if they find something wrong during the checks? Well, if some of the tests show an abnormality such as a raised blood pressure, uh, which is a risk factor for later cardiovascular disease, then we would of course discuss the result with you and together we would agree on how best to manage uh, or intervene. Will I be asked about my mental health during the health check? Yes indeed, it is an opportunity to discuss your mental health and your medication. Uh, however, for those people enjoying stability of their mental health, the physical health aspect of the check would be the main focus. Can I just ask, when will I find out the results of my health check? Well, some results will be instant, such as the chat with the GP or the blood pressure result and the weight results. Uh, the blood tests can take a week or two for them to return and for the GP to check them. And then the results will be shared with you. If there are concerns, we will contact you to discuss the results further. And can I discuss my medication during my appointment? Yes, indeed, it is important to discuss your medication with your GP, including how effective it is, any possible side effects, and the plans for treatment in the future. If your prescriptions are still being provided by a psychiatrist, then you and the GP may need to discuss any concerns with the mental health team as well. Well, thank you for those great questions. I hope my answers have helped explain the checks and their purpose. I would like to re-emphasise that these checks are specifically for people with a known serious mental illness and focus on the physical health risk factors in order to prevent future avoidable diseases. It is very important to continue to attend any other health checks that you are eligible for. So for example, if you normally attend an asthma check, then you would still need to do so. I would also strongly encourage you to attend the NHS screening programmes for cervical, breast and bowel cancer if invited. Lastly, if you have any health concerns in between your annual health checks, then do get in touch with the practice so that we can discuss them with you as soon as possible. Remember, your physical health and mental health are just as important as each other. By having these annual health checks, you and your GP can help prevent health problems and stop existing ones getting worse.